Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a haul of everything that I got at Forest Essentials. If you guys aren't aware of the brand called Forest Essentials, um, they are a luxurious Ayurvedic brand and I really like the grandiorist uh, theme that all of their shops have. I've bought like one product from them before and which was the Rupam uh, body paste or Rupam body polish. Yeah, so I had that and I really enjoyed using that product um, it was a body polish made out of jaggery and it had orange extracts and stuff like that and I recently visited a forest essential store once again and I tried out a couple of products and some of them really stood out to me so I decided that I should splurge a little and go ahead and try out some other products so today I just wanted to share everything that I got okay so let's get started so everything that I got is in this um, uh, packet right here um, I really like the golden theme that they have everywhere um, so I'm just going to pick up the products out in a random order whatever comes to my hand first uh, so the first thing that I have is this body mist it's rose and cardamom and I am honestly not a big fan of anything that is a uh, scented rose but this one is like really really similar to what an actual rose smells like and it's not artificial in any way and it's kind of sweet and plus they have um, cardamom in this too so the both of them blend really well to give this really feminine and sweet smelling fragrance and I thought it was very nice and fresh at the same time um, I really really like the smell of this I think the store smells of this as soon as you enter it and I really like that smell so I thought I should give this a try I've actually used a body mist from forest essential before I think I received it in one of my fab bag or envy bag I'm not really sure uh, but it was the iced pomegranate and jasmine one and uh, yeah so I'm really excited to try this one um, I think you should give this a whiff if you are uh, passing by one of the forest essential stores let me know uh, if you guys like it i think it's a hit or miss sort of fragrance you would either like it or like really dislike it uh, so the next thing that i see is uh, a very essential thing for me uh, this is called tranquil sleep this is a sedative blend of pure essential oils which helps you to unwind and relax giving calm restful sleep this has four essential oils sandalwood geranium nutmeg and lavender so it is in a spray bottle that you spray in your um, pulse points so you spray a little bit on your temples on your wrist and on your neck and it apparently helps you sleep really nicely um, that's something that I really need and I've read that lavender really helps you sleep like a baby so I'm excited to try this product out and test it and see if it really works I really like the uh, fragrance of this as well it's, it has that very calming um, effect and yeah I'm, I'm excited to try this I haven't tried this like any or uh, any one of the products yet like all of them are all packed so I got another thing from the uh, Indian rose absolute uh, line that they have this is their bath and shower oil so um, I actually got this uh, for my body because I have really really dry skin on my body especially my legs and if I ever wax or uh, shave my legs they tend to get really really itchy uh, so I thought something like this would be really nourishing and moisturizing as well as cleansing so um, the lady also suggested this oil um, if I shave or wax my legs and arms uh, so I'm really excited to give this a whirl and see how uh, moisturizing it is I really liked it while she made me try it um, again I really like the smell of the rose range that they have and uh, this one again can be used it's it's, it's essentially a shower oil that uh, turns into cream um, just like like any makeup remover oil if you've used any and this is a cold pressed oil and it has almond oil and sunflower oil avocado apricot and gokaru seed extracts it has vitamin e and rose flower oil so really excited to try this one as you can see it's still in the packaging and yet to open any one of uh, these products um 
I got another body mist. This one is from their Nargis range. Uh, and I loved the smell of this one. Even more than the rose and cardamom one. I absolutely love the smell of Nar Nargis. This was actually an impulse buy just as I was leaving the store. Uh, the lady asked me to try Nargis. And as soon as I spritz it, I was sold. I said, I, you have to give me this one. Um, it's 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 insanely good. Like I don't know if you guys liked floral fragrances, and if you like, please give this a try. Um, it's it's something. Uh, it takes you to a different world. This smell. It's very old school. Uh, it's very Indian and it's very floral. Um, it's not nauseating. It's very uplifting and um, it's very feminine. And I love, love this fragrance. I am so excited about this. I think this is my favorite purchase. Then I got another, um, I think this one is also going to be freaking awesome. Uh, this is their Cleansing Shower Butter. And this is, again, in the fragrance Nargis. Apparently, it's uh, Elle's pick as well. Elle Magazine has picked this as one of their favorite products for the monsoon season. And this is essentially a butter that you can use in the shower. I know, right? That is amazing. Especially if you have like really dry skin. Um, she made me try this in my hand and I was like, mm, I need this in my life. I would love to use this on my legs. Uh, she suggested the mixture of this shower cream and where is my oil? And this oil like both of these if I'm shaving or waxing my legs just to keep them moisturized and clean at the same time uh, this texture of this one is just so so smooth so so creamy and buttery um, and then it also foams up uh, it's like the perfect shaving cream or the perfect body cream for the winter months or if you have dry skin throughout the year and it smells of Nargis which again is my favorite fragrance of all of the fragrances that they have and I think this would be really really nice um, I want you guys to go try this out uh, just go smell Nargis and try this out I'm telling you um, if you're up for it, you will not leave the store without this. If there's just one thing that I would have bought in the most uh, necessitative for me would be the shower butter. Then I have a body polish, I think. Yeah. This is their Cane Sugar and Tamarind Body Polish. They didn't have like quite a big range of body polishes this time. There were just three for me to choose from and this one seemed the best. And since I've used one of their body polishes before, I thought I should definitely try uh, another one because I really liked the previous one, the one with the jaggery. Um, and she said that she liked this one the most, so I thought I should give this a try. And she said that use this before you wax or shave and right after you shave and wax. Basically, this is like my shaving kit or waxing kit. Uh, I'm just making sure that I don't uh, scratch my legs till they bleed um, yeah so uh, this is uh, it is made out of cane sugar and it's it has tamarind in it so it smells sweet and sour at the same time not going to lie wasn't a big fan of the fragrance of this one but hopefully um, it is uh, nice on my leg and my body uh, I really like the packaging look how huge it is and the uh, the jar in itself is also pretty huge oh i just realized i didn't mention the price of any one of these i'm going to mention it uh down below in the description oh i got another one of these uh small sprays this is the stress relief one and i've realized that i've been getting quite anxious and very very stressed out about stuff and recently like I have seen um, that my workload has been doubled and I have like a lot to keep up with and I've slowly realized that I've been stressing out a lot um, about like every single thing about social media, about my YouTube, about my blog, about work, about um, anything like I don't know uh, everything's been like I feel like there's a lot to do and I, I, I just I don't know just I this was probably probably another one of my impulse buys um 
but this is their stress relief uh, spray and this one again has like four essential oils it has lime lavender lemon and peppermint uh, so hopefully it makes me feel a uh, little less anxious and a little less stressful and I also get stressed when I'm like running late or if I have like an event to attend um, or if I have to go to a place where I know there's going to be a lot of people uh, that sort of makes me nervous and anxious so keeping something like this in my bag and just spraying it off on my face or like on my temples and on my pulse points just like that one um, even though if it gives me a placebo effect I just know that there is something that is calming me down and bringing me a little bit of zen so I'm excited to try the stress relief uh, spray as well then all I'm left with in here are a couple of samples that the lady uh, very kindly gave to me so uh, this is a facial uptan uh, with Multani Mitti and she suggested that I wash my face with this and only this like in the morning and in the uh, evening. So I think it's uh, just a plain Multani Mitti powder and um, she asked me to mix a little bit of rose water um, and then just use this to wash my face if I because she saw that I had like really oily and acne prone skin and then uh, she also gave me uh, like a couple of solid uh, soaps to try I think uh, let me just try and open this okay yeah so I don't remember which ones they were oh she gave me a velvet silk body cream in Nargis because she saw me getting really excited uh, when I was smelling the Nargis range um, I didn't know that she put this in in there let me just smell Nargis for you Oh, it smells so good. It smells really nice. And she gave me um, a luxury sugar soap in the fragrance that I already have. This is the Iced Pomegranate and Kerala Lime Sugary Soap. Soap? Soap. Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Uh, that's everything that I got. Uh, it's all empty and as you can see, they've inserted like a little bit of rose petals in there. That's quite nice of them. So that's everything that I got uh, from First Essentials. I'm quite happy with everything that I picked up. As usual, I'm going to give my disclaimer that everything that I got is I bought them with my own hard uh, earned money. And no, uh, my parents don't pay for them. I pay for my everything that I purchase. I work, I go to work, I work here. Um, yeah, that's how I buy my stuff. If you, I know a lot of you are going to like leave comments like that. Um, yeah and these are the things that I really enjoy using and this is what I'm uh, this is what I work like um, beauty and trying out new stuff is what I do um, so it's it's just like an investment for me to try out products like this so that's why I usually go all out when I try products and I, I generally want to try them and help you guys out uh, with reviews and stuff uh, to um, help you guys buy uh, more uh, intelligently if that's the word um, yeah so thank you so much for watching this haul I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys have tried out any forest essential uh, products and which was your favorite oh I also tried out the lip balm but I gave it away to my friend uh, it came in in a very very pretty um, packaging uh, it was very pretty I'm going to buy one of those for myself and it was in the rose flavor um, I'm going to insert a picture of it if I still have a picture of it it was on my snapchat so if you guys uh, follow me on snapchat then you guys have seen that so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this I hope you guys are having an awesome new year and I will see you in my next video Bye!